Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney on this channel. We answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users getting folks the answer they need from an employment attorney. We have a question here from YouTube user Bill Cooper 1930. You see me just panic about my notebook to make sure nothing was showing in the screen. I was like, oh my god, my notebook! And then I realized it was closed. Um, I would have just not posted the video. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, so Bill, Co Bill Cooper, 1930, YouTube user Bill Cooper, 1930, asked us specifically, uh, and this is a video, uh, this was a comment Bill Cooper left on a video that I posted some time ago uh, entitled, How do I formulate my demand for mediation? Is mediation an interrogation? And Bill Cooper's comment goes a little something like this. The signaling with a low ball number doesn't cut it either. A defendant has already declined $1 million settlement proposal twice, and the plaintiff came back with a settlement proposal for $750,000. The defendant declined that as well. The defendant came back with a counteroffer of $50,000 for the plaintiff. Not acceptable, triple exclamation point, all caps. Okay, so Bill, generally I agree with you, but let's take a look here at what we're, what we're talking about, right? <laughs> Now, you made a demand for a million dollars. We have no idea how you reached that demand. Statistically speaking, it is unlikely your case is worth a million dollars. It could be, and I'm sure yours is. So I'm talking in generalities here, Bill. I'm sure your case, if you go through the damages calculation playlist that we provide here, and you calculate the damage correctly, I'm sure it's a seven-figure case. I'm sure it's a million-dollar case. Because I'm sure you are an intelligent human being, and you know what you're doing. But let's talk in generalities. Most of the people who ask for a million dollars are morons because that's a big round number and they think a million dollars is a lot of money. In 2024, a million dollars is no longer a lot of money. Allow me to assure you. But there's a lot of people who just don't calculate their damages at all and they, they just one day decide, I'm going to get a million dollars for my case. And that is a meaningless statement. There's no reason to believe that case is worth a million dollars whatsoever, right? Again, Bill, not you. I'm sure you know what you're doing. I'm sure you calculated the damages. I'm sure your million dollar demand was well founded. So, not you, Bill. Somebody else goes and makes a demand. Some other plaintiff goes and makes a demand for a million dollars. And the defendant says, no thanks. And then they make the demand for a million dollars again. And the defendant still, I assume pre-mediation, says, yeah, no thanks. I'm not going to counter that. That's that's crazy town. I'm not interested in that. Um, and I mean crazy as in like wild, not, you know, mental health issues. Um, we're not going to counter that. It's silly. You're being silly. And um, just no. Then, Bill, here's something that happens that's very interesting. In your, in your hypothetical, the plaintiff drops from $1 million to $750,000. And that defendant goes, oh, oh, I will counter now. In fact, I will counter for $50,000, which, Bill, I understand is not acceptable. As per your, you've made it clear in your comment that that is not acceptable to you. But it's one hell of a signal. What do we, what do we take away from the fact that you're at $750,000 and the defendant's at 50000 Well, right off the bat, I can tell you that defendant is looking to pay six figures. I don't know if they're going to come to the six-figure number that you want. I can't say. I don't really know the case. I don't know the situation. I don't know the defendant. I don't know the attorneys involved. I don't even know what the claims are. I don't know what the damage calculation is. I, I don't know anything here, right? But I can tell you right off the bat, the situation you described, demand a million, no thanks. Demand a million again, still no thanks. Demand seven hundred fifty k. Oh, well, we would give you 50. That is just another way of saying we'll pay six figures. We'd love to pay six figures. So right off the bat, Bill, I think you got yourself a solid claim with a solid damages calculation because you got yourself a defendant who wants to pay in the six figures. Now, you're clear that it's not acceptable that they're negotiating in this way. 
Counterpoint. They were trying to let you know when you were demanding a million dollars that they thought you were being stupid. Is that rude? Yes. Yeah, of course. You've been through a lot. Someone either discriminated against you or sexually harassed you. We don't know which. We don't know what your claims were. But somebody attacked you or, or, or they retaliated against you, right? Somebody attacked you based on your very identity, who you are, and they attack the means by which you feed and house yourself and clothe yourself and care for those you love. Right? I mean, that's pretty big. So you've been through some things. But it doesn't mean it's a seven-figure case. Right? I mean, you went through something horrible, but the valuation formulas are what they are. And you might win more at trial, or you might win less. We don't know. But in terms of settlement, in terms of settlement, the other side knows that you're saving the risk of going to trial. So you're hedging for risk a little bit. So they, they were being kind of clear with you, like, hey, we're not going to give you a million dollars. Not interested. We're not even interested in negotiating against a million dollars. So, that's meaningful. Because they weren't interested in negotiating against a million dollars. But when you came to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, they came to fifty, and off the top of my head, it sounds like you're seven hundred thousand apart. So at seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, they came to fifty thousand, and that puts you seven hundred thousand apart. And that midline. Between your seven hundred fifty thousand and their fifty thousand, well, that midline, that meeting point, that halfway mark is three hundred fifty thousand between the fifty and the seven hundred fifty, right? <coughs> and if you add that three hundred fifty thousand to the fifty thousand they've already got on the table, well, you've got four hundred thousand. Now, are they willing to pay you four hundred thousand? I don't know. I don't know anything about you, your claims, them, the court you're in, the jurisdiction you're in. I I don't know anything but i do know my heart of hearts i am i am confident to the point that i would bet on it big money mm, big money and i'm not a gambling fellow i gamble on cases and cases alone and frankly i don't view gambling on cases as gambling because i am incredible at picking cases so i'll tell you right now that i would bet that they want to pay you six figures that's how confident i am in fact, I would, you want to bet 50, 50K that they would pay you six figures? And if you can not take that bet, right? I get why you wouldn't because you don't want to find out if they pay you $100,000, right? That The $100,000 fits, I win. If they'll pay you $100,000 or 101000 or or 600000 any of those numbers, I win. But I'll tell you right now, they want to pay you six figures, right? So... They want to pay you six figures, and when you came to 750K, they jumped right up. So when they were at zero, and you were at 750K, the midpoint, the midpoint, the meeting point between your two demands, well, your demand and their, their position of zero dollars, right, was something they found palatable. Right? Something they found palatable enough that they went from, no, we won't give you a penny, we're not even going to negotiate with you, to, oh, all right, yeah, uh, I'd like to signal that I'll pay six figures. Bill, I can tell you're very frustrated. Maybe you should be. Maybe you have a seven-finger claim. Maybe they are lowballing you and wasting your time. Maybe. Maybe. But 99 out of 100 people in your position, that case isn't worth, at least not in settlement, that case isn't worth seven figures. And most of those people who demand a million dollars, because it's just a round number, 
It's just a number that sounds nice. Most of the people who demand a million dollars are morons who didn't do a damages calculation and have not familiarized themselves with how damages are calculated in this field. And again, Bill, I know it's not you. I can tell. I, I know that's not you, right? Um, so there was value in the defendant because they don't know you either, right? I mean, defense counsel doesn't know you. Not really. They might have met you, but they don't know you. They don't know your research capabilities, your math skills, your depth of knowledge and sophistication in the field of employment law. They, they don't know the first thing about you. They don't know your tenacity. They don't know how much you need money. So when you came in a million dollars, they probably assumed, for lack of a better term, that you were an asshole. Frankly, a stupid one. I know you're not. But that defense counsel doesn't know that. And so they saw the million dollars and they said, no, thanks. But then they saw 750 k and they said, oh, that makes sense. We should negotiate. This is important to note. This is really, really valuable information for you. It was a drop of 250 k And they said, yes, we'd like to pay. Right? So, Bill. It sounds like you might be headed to a mediation, or maybe you just had a mediation. But either way, there's plenty of negotiating left to be done. Now, I don't know if you want to come down off 750k, but I suspect if you do want to come down, if you want to negotiate down a little bit off 750k, they're going to go up. Odds are. Odds are especially if you're represented by counsel. Now, this is where we get into the weeds, right? If you're willing to negotiate down off 750K and you know they want to pay, you know they want to pay six figures or more, not seven, they've been clear, but some number in the six-figure range, right? Something between, they want to pay something between $100,000 and 750K. Right. Realistically, we can probably narrow that. They want to pay something between a hundred thousand dollars and five hundred thousand dollars. Good, good chance, right? Well, you've learned a lot, and now the next thing you need to learn is: can you live with that in your heart of hearts? Can you? See a world where a number between $100,000 and $500,000 allows you to be done with this. This horrific litigation where bad things were done to you in the workplace. And if the answer is, well, yeah, there's some numbers between 100 k and 500 k that allow me to put this behind me, then Bill Cooper, I would say to you, you've learned something invaluable about this litigation and perhaps invaluable about yourself as well. You value your time and your energy in a manner that is rational and very intelligent. And if you think that number is correct between whatever it is, whatever the number is in your heart of hearts, between a hundred thousand and five hundred thousand dollars. And that number is a smart number for you to take, given that you have finite amounts of time at your disposal and finite amounts of attention and finite bandwidth and, and, and finite emotional well-being, all of which, all of which are rapidly eaten up by litigation. And it just, you find that that number, whatever the number is that you picked, is the number that works for you. Well then, Bill Cooper, not only have you learned something about the defendant's stance in this litigation, but you've learned something about your stance in litigation and, in fact, your own person. And you may have already known those things. Perhaps I'm a fool. But as much as you are finding that negotiation to be unacceptable, I would say to you, I would say to you that if an associate, if, if an attorney in this field, a young attorney in this field came to me and they were running their mouth about that back and forth negotiation and how silly it was. But 
my other partners in my firm would be trying to get between me and them, between myself and that young associate, because I would be flexing my fingers like I wanted to choke a young attorney, which I would never do. And our young attorneys are fantastic. Our associates are amazing. And they wouldn't do this. But, you know, in a different life where I had associates that perhaps I didn't always get to pick on my own, um, just the ache of my knuckles as I imagined them closing around someone's neck, right? Because I will tell you right now, if an associate came to me and was like, ah, blah, 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 I dropped to 750 and they only came to 50, I'd be like, okay, this is your client not want a number between 100 thousand and and 750,000 because if your client doesn't want that then you should stop negotiating but if your client has some numbers between 100 and 750,000 and those numbers would get this case done and your client would be happy then I think you've got yourself a win condition on the horizon and, and I'll go a step further I on the other side would like to find it with you so young associate run along conference how you're going to approach this negotiation with one of the partners you're working with and get out of my sight before I headbutt you because I'm having a little trouble right now understanding what you don't understand young associate about what's happening and Bill Cooper I, I don't know if this, any of this is true for you this is just what my belief is and, and I don't know listen you, you might have a million dollar case you might have a 30 million dollar case I, I don't know Bill I don't know, but I'm just saying the blurb that you shared here, it sure sounds like they want to pay you. And if you want to get paid, I'd like to see you get paid. I'd like to see you get made whole, uh, at least to the extent made whole to an amount that you think is right, that you can live with. That gets you done with this so you can turn your time and energy to other more pleasant and more long-term viable and valuable things. So, Bill, if this was helpful, give that other side a call or get an attorney. God, please. But also, if it wasn't helpful, comment down below because I don't. I don't want this negotiation. I, I understand I'm not getting paid in this negotiation. I'm well aware. But but I'd hate to see you just let this die on the vine if there is a number that gets this done for you because they might want to pay it. As frustrated as you are, and as much as I'm not part of this negotiation, so I don't know much about it, I got to tell you, there's a statistical likelihood, based on my years of practice, and thousands of cases worked on, that you're just wrong. You don't like what they're doing because you don't understand it. Counterpoint, they could just be assholes. Often they are. But... I like assholes who want to pay my clients a lot more than generalized assholes. And these, well, at the very least, sound like assholes who want to pay my client. Well, you're not my client, but assholes who want to pay you. And I sure like assholes who want to pay you a lot more than general assholes, too. So maybe hear them out. Maybe negotiate in good faith. It might be a really valuable use of your time. Just a thought. Just a thought. Anyways, if this was helpful, like, subscribe, comment down below. Please, share the channel, and we might grow. Take care, Bill. Good luck. I hope you get paid.